let's discuss why some households are rolling in dough while others are pinching pennies. Within the circular flow of income model, economists assume that households own the four factors of production, which includes land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. Ownership of land resources, or natural capital, generates a form of income we call rent. Households that offer their labor to firms generate wages. Thus, high-skilled labor will earn high wages, whereas low-skilled labor will earn low wages. As a result, education, a positive externality, is an important investment in developing human capital from low-skilled to high-skilled. Households that own capital or physical capital earn interest by lending out assets such as machines, tools, tech, and financial capital to increase the productive efficiency of a firm. The entrepreneur organizes land, labor, and capital resources to create something new. Thus, the entrepreneur's reward for innovation and risk-taking is profit. But here's the twist. Households don't own these factors equally. Some own more land, capital, or have entrepreneurial ventures leading to higher incomes. Other households rely solely on labor, earning perhaps low wages. Understanding this helps explain economic inequality. So stay tuned for more econ knowledge.